Welcome back. We're spending a lot more time in the kitchen these days and sometimes looking for a new wine to pair with dinner. So I spoke with Master of Wine Jennifer Simonetti Bryan about a few of her favorite women owned wineries. The Master of Wine title is given after a four day exam, and the exam itself includes identifying 36 wines blind. So they give you the glass, you know, 36 glasses, and uh, you have to identify the grape. The origin, so we would have to say it's a Brunello di Montalcino. You have to say where it's from, uh, sometimes the vintage, the quality level. You have to say all of that just based on the taste. So 36, of, 36 wines there, and then it's uh, four days of essays, and then after that, you have a, a dissertation to write. And then after that, uh, you become a master of wine. And there's, oh, I was the fourth woman in the United States to achieve that international title. That is really amazing. Yes, thank you, thank you. And so that leads us to women-owned wines. Yeah, so we have the first wine that we have here is Falesco, and the name of the wine is really great. It's Est, Est, Est di Montefiascone. So wow. I know long, and in the trade, we kind of know it is Est, Est, Est. And it's a great backstory um, because it, from the 12th century, there was this bishop, right? And he was going to Rome for the coronation of the Pope. And in advance, this is way before Priceline. So he had like a scout that would go in front of him, going from hotel, hotel, a place to stay, to taste the wine, to see if it was good for the bishop. And this one on this door, he wrote S, 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 which is, it is, it is, it is. So I like it. <laughs> So that's this first wine, and it's actually, um, it, the winery itself was started in 1979 by two brothers, the Cotorella brothers, and they have their daughters now. Um, all three daughters, Dominga, Marta, and Enrica, they are actually running the show now, and they focus Fantastic. primarily- Oh, it's wonderful. And they focus on native indigenous grape varieties. So this is about an hour and a half north of Rome. But um, in Montefiascone, which is, you know, this part of this lake, this gorgeous lake, and the wine itself, if you taste the wine, it tastes, it's almost like you're by the ocean side. All right, I'm going to take a taste while you yeah. finish describing. Yeah, so it's got this saline kind of note to it. So it's like this citrusy, but it's got almost like a, ocean breeze kind of like you know ocean air breeze kind of thing and when you that's have really that, good i think you, i need another taste just you do to burn. Okay. yeah just just to make sure it's not poison you know but <laughs> no but when you have this wine with shrimp what it does is it actually really makes that the flavor of the shrimp pop so this is a fantastic pairing with like grilled shrimp during the summer but for 12 bucks this is an amazing amazing that is really good it is yeah. really good, very fresh and summer-like too. Okay, we're going to the rosé next, the Cava. Yes. Oh yeah, I love rosé sparkling wine. It's like look glitter. how pretty it is. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so now, pretty. This is a Cava uh, that is you know, north northeast Spain, and the the woman who's in charge of this, the CEO, is a woman, and it's uh, Marichal Juve. So this is Juve Camps, and it's made with 100% Pinot Noir. And look how deep that color is. I mean, you've got a lot of strawberries and mm -hmm. cherry flakes in that wine. Um, and because it's made from Pinot Noir, it's got some, some really bright, fresh acidity, lots of berry notes. And this goes great with salmon. So you like grilled salmon during the summer. It's amazing with that, as well as with chicken, and maybe a chicken salad with cranberries. Oh, I could go on and on. It's just, it's a delicious, delicious wine. It and is good, and it's not too sweet, which is nice. Yes, yes, and it's very refreshing. And you can get this at uh, QFC University Village, and you can get this at uh, Stadium Thrift, uh, Thriftway, you know, Stadium Thriftway Tacoma. And this one, you can get at Esquin uh, Wine Merchants, and I, you say it, Leshai? Leshai. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, so now, yeah, that's your, I'm not native, <laughs> so I have to ask. Now you can sound like you are. All right, let's talk about the red. Oh, yes. Okay, so. And it's only 25 so all of these, these are between 12 and $25. Exactly. This, this second one is $17. If you found this in Champagne, it would be two to three times the price, but this yeah. is, for this, it's amazing. The last one is a red wine, also from Tuscany, and People have heard of Brunello di Montalcino, which is like the largest, biggest, boldest wine that you can find in Tuscany, right? Well, this is Rosso di Montalcino, so it's not aged as long as Brunello, so it's kind of like a baby Brunello, which is 
But I like Brunello, so let's see if we like this. I'm sure yeah, it will. Very very awesome. You got some dark cherry in there. You got some, oh, and uh, on it's very spicy. Got some yeah. earthy. Oh my gosh, that's really, really good. Yeah, it's really fantastic. And the great part is, in terms of its body, it's not going to overpower something like a burger or a steak, but it's going to really bring out, um, the steak's going to really bring out some of those cherry notes, and the wine is going to bring out some of that spiciness in inside the food. Is it the cherry note that makes it seem a little more refreshing? I mean, some reds are, are, you know, a big Merlot or something has just a gigantic taste, and you think about heavy, fatty, rich foods with that. Yeah. This one seems a little lighter. It does. Yeah, it does. And that's, it's Sangiovese, Sangiovese Grosso, which is known as Brunello. You know, Sangiovese, which is the grape in Chianti. Mm -hmm. And so, but when you get it a little bit bigger, so you call it Sangiovese Grosso, that's, that's actually the other name for Brunello. And that's what this is made from, but it's known for its high acidity and it's quite bright. And so when you have it with something like a steak, that acidity cuts through that fat there and makes it very refreshing and bright. So uh, that, that, that's just the nature of this. Jennifer, cheers. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.